So hi, welcome to EFCL online membership sales using the tool and the data off the EFCL website. I'm Joanne Booth. I'm the Operations and Membership Senior Director for the Edmonton Federation of Community Leagues. So the first thing I wanted to say is if there's any questions, if you could just save those to the end, that would be great. Um, so I've got on here, you can see I've got a shared screen and I've already gone into the uh, EFCL League Administration site. That's the leagues.efcl.org. Every community league has a unique user ID and password. And if you're not sure what that is for your community league, give me a call at the EFCL and I can help uh, help make sure you've got access to that site. If someone at your league's forgotten the password or nobody remembers what it is, that's okay. I can change that quite quickly. When you go on to the admin site, uh, you will get a page similar to what I've got displayed here. I have a few more tabs up here in the blue area than, than the leagues will have. So I see for all community leagues and when you log in you'll just see for your community league and it defaults to the sale page and this is what it looks like and it'll show all the sales for your league <clears throat> excuse me and there's two ways that you can use this information so a lot of leagues um, keep their membership information in a little storage box and um, it's the same size, uh, well, it is the, this thing right here. That's the league portion of a membership card. And they store that in alphabetical order. If that's how you do it and you want to continue doing it, that is just fine. When you go onto the site and you see a sale for your league, you click on it and it will bring you their information uh, of the sale. If you're going to continue to keep it alphabetically in a box, you can simply snip this information, post it in, uh, in Word, and then just print it off, and then store it with the rest of your cards. The other thing you can do is produce a membership report. So some Community League membership directors do this every month for their monthly board of directors meeting. Others do it every quarter, some do it every year, and some ignore it completely. So whatever, whatever's working for you, continue to do that. If you're going to produce the membership report, or if you're one of those membership directors who keeps your membership information on a thumb drive, or uh, on a laptop, you're gonna to want to incorporate this information into your own spreadsheet. So to do that, you go up to the top here uh, where it says membership report range. You're gonna produce this to, to whatever time frame you want. I'm not gonna produce much of a time or a, a membership range because it'll take forever because I get everybody's, not just one league. So I'm gonna show you how to do that for just one day. You set the, the dates. So I'm gonna say January 1st and that'll be, I want it from January 1st to January 2nd. And I just click on those dates. You'll see these little boxes up here change. So that's the range that we're gonna print and you just click apply and the system will download a membership report for your league for that particular time frame. At the bottom left hand side, you see this little Excel spreadsheet here. You click on that, it opens up an Excel spreadsheet and then you can uh, print that off for your board of directors or to produce a, a year-end report for your membership. And this is what it looks like. It gives the date it was purchased, the order number, the type of the membership number. I, of course, get all the leagues. You'll just see yours. The type of membership, oops, back up to the top there. All right, the membership type. Then the last name, the, the name, 
the the information all the same information that is collected on the hard copy uh, membership card that is sold at the league level so if you have an excel spreadsheet that you retain this information in you can cut and paste uh, if you're not sure how to do that with an excel spreadsheet call me at the office and i can help you with that um, if your communications director is looking for people to add to your um, your mail outs your emails uh, you can sort by do they want the newsletter that is one of the questions that's asked so if they've said yes you can forward that information to your communications director uh, or your programs director depending on how you use how you choose to use that data so um, I think that is that is it uh, very quick brief uh, that is how you'll use the information, cut and paste into your own database or just uh, download uh, the information you need. Oh, that's the other thing, skate tags. If you're one of those leagues that automatically sends out the skate tags to your members, this will tell you which people want them and which have ignored that. So I don't know if the membership person sends that out or if you have someone at your league who sends a welcome letter and uh, a copy of the newsletter with the skate tags, that'll give you the information on who to send that to. So I think that's it for now. Um, are there any questions? And no questions, so awesome. Uh, thank you for joining me. We'll do this again and uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Any questions at all, give me a call at the office. We're here 8.30 to 4.30 Monday through Friday and uh, I'm here to help. Thank you.